Hey everybody, Jay Barino here, and welcome back. It's the Tides of Darkness remake in Warcraft 3. On to the Siege of Dalaran. I think there are two missions left. That would put the number of missions equal to how many were in the human campaign, so that makes sense. Which also means that these last two are going to be pretty difficult. We'll see. We were making a lot of air units at this point in the human campaign. Send me in. The hour of judgment is close at hand as the orcish hordes stand ready to sweep across this domain like a pestilence and seize the capital of Lordaeron. Standing vigilant above the plains like the descending arm of twilight itself is the violent citadel of Dalaran. The citadel, serving as sanctum and haven to the mages of Lordaeron, is the last barrier between the orcs and their subjugation of humanity. Manifest in the combined magical prowess of all mages within the Alliance, this place must fall for the Horde to conquer Lordaeron. Fortunately, Orgrim Doomhammer has saved his greatest weapon, ready to unleash it upon the unsuspecting Alliance at just this moment. Dragons. Zulahed's batch of dragnets has finally arrived, yet do not expect to rely on them much in this mission as Dalaran exceeds in ranged and magical arsenal. Great, okay. Their military should be but amusing resistance, although the use of siege artillery should prove crucial against their heavy fortifications. Get going. Alright, so make a lot of catapults. Don't just A-click in. You gotta meticulously take stuff out is what this sounds like. I like how we can make dragons, but they just outright said, don't bother. As a really big golden investment, so that's why I'm thinking... Yeah, let's just not bother. Are we, I guess we're playing as Blackrock, fl finally? Which I think is supposed to be sort of the <coughs> the typical Warcraft 2 faction as Lordaeron was for uh, for the humans. Okay, no base to start with. Let's just grab my yes. combat units. Yeah, okay, so let's take this group and like just go ahead and A-click your way down there. And then the rest of you... Plus one troll. Let's go ahead and send you down separately. Starting with two sappers is crucial, as we learned in that one mission previously. Dollar and footmen, as we know, pretty good. They are pretty good. Uh, defensively, I should say. They're not going to be able to do that much damage to my knights, so that should be okay. Okay, keep going. Just keep going. Keep rolling out. What you want? Catapult's going to take a long time. I'm just following this path. Uh, just quick save really early. Probably kind of silly. We don't need to quick save that early, but whatever. That's fine. I'm just kind of anxious to find a gold mine. If this is the mission that I recall, it's like a big... It's not an island, but there, it, it's kind of an island with one small ground path. And then there's bases for us to take in both corners of the map. Both bottom corners. Uh, okay, so let's just make sure we keep moving down with everybody. We have more dollar on here. And there is a knight, unfortunately. Let's just shift our raiders in and out. Cool. Okay, let's um, let's check down here, and then let's go to the right and see if we can find anything. There's got to be a gold mine like right around here, right? So let's let's lock that down first. I'm very confident that the gold mine is down here. This would be weird if it was. Let's see. Oh no, that is it. Uh, bummer. Okay. Um, we got to kill some of these sheep, I think. Because they're going to be in our way. And we can only build on green. So we got to do that, unfortunately. Okay, well. Kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and maybe consider start looking around. We have our catapult as well. I mean, this is a pretty sizable force. If we could move out... Uh, and take another base as soon as possible. That would be really good. Let's also read a little bit. Destroy Dalaran and the Alliance defenders. An entire nation in one massive island. Dalaran watches the whole Lordam Lordamir Lake like a giant lighthouse, and thus it must fall for the Horde to conquer Lordor and destruction. A production support and military structures is priority. You may ransack their dwellings at your leisure if you wish. 
Wonderful. So it sounds like we don't actually have to destroy literally everything, but we'll see. Grunsteel, 2x damage to structures. That's cool. We can upgrade attack to level 2, but no defense upgrades. But they get that Blood Frenzy and then Talcar Armor, which I don't I don't actually remember what that does, but I'm sure it's good. The Ogres have offered their caves a shelter and breeding ground for the Raiders' signature Dark Wolves, allowing them the perfect environment to breed more efficient specimens. Their armor cannot be upgraded, but provides higher protection for ranged attack, matched only by the susceptibility to melee attacks. The same armor can be magically used to force a raider into a controlled blood frenzy, which doubles his attack damage. My concern is we're against Dalaran. Now, if you recall, when we played as Dalaran, we couldn't steal the raider bloodlust. But according to Lord Paranold, the creator of this, they're supposed to be able to steal it. So I will try it, and I'm gonna, I guess, just sort of assume it can be stolen, but we have to experiment, and if it can't, then we're cooking with gas but if it can be stolen then we probably just have to spam grunts in order to destroy buildings is my thought Telkar armor it's named after Telkar Doomhammer in addition to instilling undying loyalty it allows Blackrock grunts and raiders to mitigate damage from magical and spell attacks which is gonna that's gonna be really important I think we just gotta spam a lot of melee units and hopefully that'll that'll carry us to victory here warlock tower contains spell upgrades for warlocks only requires a blacksmith to be built Warlocks from the first war believed extinct have survived under the protection of Doomhammer and learned to channel fell magic to recall their towers where to continue their studies for the war chief. That sounds great. Fireball, haste, and cloud of poison. Cloud of poison is should be really good. Secretly keeping former Gul'dan students under his command after the death of Medivh, the war chief has managed to ultimately earn undying loyalty of these dark arc dark arts practitions. Without Gul'dan linking them to the great beyond, they focus their studies back on the fires of the underworld. The result is a specialization in damaging spells such as Fireball and Cloud of Poison, but also a glimpse on friendly support with Haste. Dragons, they can detect. Um, we're gonna need detection, right? Because the Archmages can cast Invisibility, isn't that right? Green Dragon Brood from Alex Strauss's Offsprings, mass-produced from the Dragon Maw Clan under supervision of Zulahead the Whacked himself. And then Dollar and Footman and Knights, we used these previously, so we know what they can do. I don't remember what Arcane... I think Arcane Plating is less damage from magic, but, um... Yeah, the mana shield here is important, and then the, uh... Well, if these are just normal Dalaran Knights and not Spellbreakers, then they can't steal my stuff. So, maybe that's something that's good for us. Again, let's explore just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna need to start cutting through these trees. So let's do that, and then continue to just look over here. And the sooner I can find something to use these sappers on, the better. Or maybe we don't use them on anything. See, here, th their base is right here. Blackrock subfaction cannot upgrade scout towers into cannon towers. That's fine, because I rarely do that. That's very expensive. Okay, we do need more lumber just to build another pig farm. And... If this is the entrance to their base, then in theory, let's just quick save and see if we can skirt past this. Because if I can set up a second base and get some defense, then this is great. Also, this might be the only way they can get to us is from here. Because again, it's a big island with one, one big entrance. Let's get another one going. Cut through these trees, please. Uh, there's really nothing I can do macro-wise, so let's... Uh, you know what? Again, we just saved, so let's uh, let's just check up here really quick. I'm curious. I wonder if maybe, again, it's possible to just completely avoid this. If we can maybe just skirt by this and find more trees and more gold, and then just we have a potential expansion if we could take that kind of early. It's going to be dangerous to take something that early, but I think we should try it. You just right-click to the bottom, and then the rest of you, we're just going to chill back here. What I can do is maybe just suicide into this tower. Thirteen. <laughs> Unfortunate. Grunt, see if you can finish the job. Yep, gold mine there. Just explore a little bit more, and then we gotta be getting more. We gotta get more peons going here. Okay, shift to that tree. Yeah, okay, worth it. I don't know why both of these guys ended up going, but... 
If this dude can get away, then we might be able to kaboom. They're sheeping us. It's permanent, though, in uh, in Warcraft 2, isn't it? Their powers seem to be a match of those of the late traitor Storm Knights. They should be considered priority targets during offensive and defensive battles alike, as their prowess ve may very well determine the outcome of a battle. Along their magical skills, they have the ability to transform enemy units into defenseless sheep. Our warlocks claim the effect is not permanent and will wear off after five minutes. Interesting. Okay, well, um, you come on all the way back. And we're just going to chill. And we're going to macro, and I think we're going to want to try and set up that other base as early as possible. Because if we can basically um, keep them holed up in this area, right, that's better for us. Is this sheep block, like, path blocking us in any way? I don't think so. How much is a great haul? It's... Let's go ahead and start moving a peon down there. Okay, and then these guys should be in the front. Actually, Grunts should be in the front, because we want those getting... What the heck is that? Well, we're going to get a notification on what it is. Iron Golem. Okay. Here. Here. Great Hall. Then we need a Barracks. Never mind. Where did that where did this guy come from? Maybe they're Oh, cuz they're being I think they're they have invisibility cast on them. Ow. Right, so we're going to need scout towers as well. Even just one scout tower, it'll stop them from getting by us. Let's see. Do they have some sort of innate invisibility? Render enemy weapons less effective at striking back. The Iron Golem. Immunity to all spells and magic damage can detect invisible units as the passive spinning attack. Let's we can try spinning. That's a neat trick. With the addition of this new dollar and weapon on the field, we now need to focus our efforts against the wizards and brute strength as well. They are magically enhanced to be immune to all spells and reveal invisible units. The hulking structure is resistant to axes and spears, but seems to be weaker to siege units such as catapults, boulders, cannonballs, or black rock grunts hammers. There's also a chance that they may go into overdrive and strike all surrounding enemies at once. Oh, that's cool. Just, you know, just a chance. Okay, we really need to get a barracks. We just, we really just need to start getting some more grunts as soon as possible. In fact, I really just need lumber. That is, uh, that's a lumber mill waiting to happen, I think. Okay, let's get another pig farm. Then we go lumber mill here. And then the, where the extra gold from there is going to be huge, assuming that, again, we can live long enough for that. I think this just needs to stay a scout tower. I'm scared because, again, those early attacks, who knows what's going to happen. Okay. Lumber, please. Like, just peons on lumber for now. And then... We can get this saturated. We can also get dudes on... Uh, on lumber down here. The, the problem is if they come out of their base and go to the right, that scares me more. It's possible that this scout tower will draw their aggression to us. I'm not so sure. We could only be so lucky. Okay, we can afford a lumber mill now, which is going to increase our, our lumber production because we get extra for having the lumber mill existing at all. No matter what happens, I think that this has already paid for itself. You only need to have a great... I mean, peons only need to return... I think five or six times to pay for themselves with that 60 return. Yeah, see, there we go. Let's see if we can sneak a few units down there. Here to here. And we'll have to build the barracks over here. We'll have to build the barracks over here eventually. I guess let's... get some of these started. Okay. Now we need a barracks very badly. Okay. 
Help is on the way, though I think we might get sheeped. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please. Okay, there we go. Okay, this was very greedy, but... I don't know. We had. I feel like we kind of had to do it. I think we just want to spam grunts and get that Telkar armor out pretty fast. Oh, okay. Um, this is just the direction they're going to be mostly attacking from, it seems like. So we're just going to come down here and up here and then bring some dudes. I think now that we took that, yeah, it seems like that's just going to be the direction of aggression. Let's see. Uh, yeah, if we, maybe we could hit that fireball tower with our sapper as well. It's another one where, like, if we can kind of hang on here, this is okay. Though it also is kind of a circumstance where maybe if we just restarted. Not restarted, but reloaded our save, knowing that they're going to, like, only go to the bottom right. It would make this, like, substantially better for me. But I've been pretty short on gold. There we go. Like, it could be fun to see if we could finish this, but at the same time, like, the fact, like, I, I don't know. It just feels like we could instead just, I like the little spin animation they have. We could just do this, load it up. Like, again, we just move our army to the bottom right thinking like, well, that's where they're going to attack every time because we had the audacity to take it, which makes sense. I don't know. I always kind of struggle with this, like, just deciding what's the best... What's the best way to go? Because, like, sometimes you can just build the expansion and, and you have to focus all your firepower at, a, you know, the first location. But instead, I think this is the better option. So we're going to run those dudes down. Yeah, just, just run... Yep, yeah, just run. That's fine. Yes. And then let's get a lumber mill. But again, it's always a gamble. And sometimes it doesn't pay off. That's fine. I don't I don't mind again. It's like I don't love reloading. Sometimes it's kind of fun to sort of figure out how to pull a win out, but at the same time, I think it would be like way longer, <laughs> you know? Okay, we have that lumber mill coming up now for those. Good, good, good. Okay, much better, much better. I got more burrows coming up. And we need trees. Need those trees. Let's go ahead and transition these dudes over to these trees. And we're going to need some more units over here. We probably need to build a barracks on both sides for me to feel relatively safe. So yeah, let's get the barracks over here to start. Lumber's going to be coming in good. I'm going to get this guard tower, and I'm going to get a guard tower over here as well. Actually, it would probably be better instead... What's going on here? You guys, These guys are really struggling. Yeah, I get a barracks over here. We just need, like, grunts in every location, and then we need to get a blacksmith. Yes. We need more lumber. Just more lumber. Okay, that's fine. We should have good lumber income here. We just need to be a little patient. But gold is coming in good. Now, I think what the, what the mages are not good at is dealing with structures. So if we build guard towers everywhere, that should be pretty good. Um, we can't make cannon towers, I noticed, specifically to counter those um, those big dudes. The golems. Can't do that. I just heard something happen. Oh, you know what? That Was I was that my warlock coming back after all that time? Good job, buddy. Proud of you. Okay, let's start teching. Blacksmith. Tier 2. We're being attacked. Guard tower. Yes, I need you guys to, like, actually attack, though. And we need to get upgrades. 
our grunts are going to be way better once we get that. Once we get the the plus one, two, three, it's going to actually be pretty crucial. How much gold here? Fifty-two thousand. Thirty-six. That I mean, we've eaten more from this one here, so that makes sense. Let's get more pig farms. Um, I think we need to get that. I mean, we need to get all of this. I'm going crazy. Let's just queue it all up. Back up the axe throwers. We want to get the axe throwers upgraded as well here pretty soon. Berserker training. What can they do? Ooh, regeneration rate. I like that. And then attack range. I don't really need scouting, I don't think. Let's get a few more grunts over here. I do have this sapper. I might be able to sneak him in to hit that tower, and then we can finish it up with a grunt like we did last time. Need an ogre mount. Looks like a lot of extra tech in there. We'll be getting to that momentarily. Okay, this is good. Our uh, our resources are coming in pretty good. Again, let's just focus on getting these upgrades. If we can match them on upgrades, makes me feel a lot safer. And not match them. I mean, if we could stay ahead of them on upgrades. Let's see what's going on here. And let me be clear, I would prefer not to be turned into sheep, but it may it may happen. Okay, I think that's enough grunts for now. That's saturated. This is saturated enough for the amount of resources left on it. Faster wolves sounds great. And what can we make? Ship stuff. Goblin alchemist, I suppose certainly couldn't hurt, never can hurt. Warlock Tower. I mean, the thing with the dragons is they could help us. The dragons could help us defend, but I feel like they would be very, very poor on the offense. Okay, that's looking good, looking good. We have the Ogre Mound now, so I could make more raiders. Again, gold in the long run might be a little, a little spiced. Let's just get pretty much every upgrade available to us. I'm going to make a Zeppelin. Now, the thing with Dalaran is they do not have much survivability. If we can overpower them in, in melee, then we'll be good. Obviously, our wolves here, they're, they're not looking too hot in terms of health. Notice how they are literally only attacking us down here now. So I'm just, you know, taking advantage of that. We'll go Berserker Training. We'll go Warlock Adup Training. I need a fortress. I mean, I, I did queue up a lot of stuff. Let's just fly straight over this section here because I'm curious to see what's there. If anything, trees might be our long-term issue. I mean, we got pretty much everything we need, though, in terms of lumber from our, like, especially after getting this fortress. That's going to give us that income boost. And then also, um, like, we don't need huge boosts of lumber to make units anymore because, in theory, we won't be needing to make boats. Okay. Yeah, we want to clear this out and then basically just camp our units here. Maybe make some towers right there on the entrance. That's the only way they can get to us. I'm going to leave one here. That's a scout tower. Because they it does seem like they can invis units. Increases armor of all units trained, but not the... Apparently not actually every unit trained. Man, this is, it's such an investment in gold. Again, if we get it now, and then we basically mine out the gold that's left in here, we should be able to just blast through. Now, grunts can overwhelm these things, sort of. The concern is, again, they do the little spinner spinner attack, and then that we get roughed up. Because, you know, we're mostly focused on small units. I should have made this one the scout tower. That's fine. I think, again, if we can overwhelm this section, which is my plan... Um, we'll be in good shape. We'll be in good shape. This upgrade is pretty critical as well. Again, that's a lot of gold. We can use cloud of point. I mean, I don't know. Now I'm now I'm re now I'm thinking like, well, they they are not, they don't take much damage from magical attacks. Maybe cloud of poison isn't that good. I sort of feel like we have to leave these units here. We can always rebuild more, but, like, my offensive stuff has to come from this direction. Uh, Raiders are 100 each. 
Yeah, so we just... It's not auto-cast, so we gotta make sure to use that Blood Frenzy. Reduces damage taken from spells by 50 is delightful. I'm pretty sure... We're, we're good. Again, it might have taken some time to get here, but I feel I feel pretty solid. Let me take my Zeppelin and just sort of camp it down here. I'm going to see if I can get my Sapper on top of that structure. How dare you? Well, if they're following that dude, they're not going to go for my Sapper, I guess. 3,000 for HP regen on the trolls. I don't even know if that's worth it. I don't think that would pay for itself in the long run, would it? We good? He's there, but... Go get him. Not you. You're going to die in one hit. <laughs> Maybe you can provide some, some support. Some defensive support. Again, if we can kind of, like, hold on to this middle area, I'll be feeling good. Okay, we got that dude. Wait, there's another one. Oh, it's a wizard. Wait, we take less damage. This is good, though. We take less damage from magical attacks. Grunt Raider has got to be the composition. It, it has to be. Okay, I'm going to start rolling up. And we're going to bring peons down in this direction eventually. And then we can hotkey both of these barracks and then rally straight to the middle. Again, that's the only way they can get to us. I, We might have to make boats. I don't know if there's oil sources. I could scout more. I probably should scout more. Okay, let's quick save and see again if I can just sneak this sapper right in there into that tower. Don't go too high up. We know that there's still a... There's still a catapult thing or whatever. Nice work, 13. Okay. We're gonna run in there. Good job. Mm, nothing's being stolen from what I could tell. Not yet, at least. Now, again, I don't think that this is their strong suit. Or this is not the Raider's strong suit is melee. I mean, they they do extra... They do double damage, though. So, like, in most cases, I would say they're still pretty darn good. We can now move everybody up here. Let's move I Zeppelin to sit on the bridge or close to the bridge so that it can keep an eye on what's going on and then move everybody up. We're probably always going to want to have some sappers. Now, upgrades. What other upgrades? I got plenty of gold. I'm going to get a group of warlocks. How can I help? And we're going to get raiders, grunts, and we're going to get some berserkers. We want to get the berserker range, I think. That's worth the money. 2,000. Still pretty excessive. 13.5 there. 23 there. Not bad. Okay, double fireball towers. Those can't attack air, though, so dragons would be okay here. I mean, it explicitly told me don't make dragons, so I'm not going to. <laughs> all these all these raiders are all so low HP. I I am going to make a few dragons. Um, man, just it's just the the gold investment is rough. I, I feel like, I, you know, I'm getting every upgrade, and it's not... I don't know if it's worth it. Would haste be better? I think so. Cloud of Poison. It says deals 13 damage to units and buildings, so I assume it's my own. So I would be pretty hesitant to use that. Um, let's get a round of catapults. We're going to need a lot of those, I think, over time. And then lots of grunts. What you want? Now, we are going to be stuck on this small bridge. I think that's going to be a bit of a problem. These three raiders, I think, are the ones that we started the mission with. And I notice when I double-click them, it doesn't select all my other ones. But, I mean, it's kind of a good sign that implies that my... This poor guy doesn't know what's going on. Um, that implies that my raiders have been alive the whole mission. That's pretty awesome. 
Good splat, good splat. So here's what's gonna happen. I will come up here and start taking some pot shots. And we gotta do a slow but sure. This might draw out a bunch of units, but if it does that, that's fine. Good splat. Every individual shot we take at the fireball towers is positive. Oh. All right. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Um, we could cloud a poison it. I'm not gonna run too many... Uh, I'm not going to run too many units up in this direction because what's going to end up happening... I'm going to get only two dragons. I don't think we want to make more than that. Um, is My stuff is just going to get stuck Are you threatening me? on the bridge. Got it. Can you just, like, F off for a second, please? I'm trying to... Direct. Cloud of Poison is N... That was not as effective as I would have hoped, but... At a certain point, we're just gonna have to go. It's just the, the damage of those towers, it's- we cannot- we just can't go one-to-one. -one. We just can't. I don't know why- is it, like, the range of my- yeah, the range of my catapults isn't high enough for that. I, yeah, we just need to use dragons, I think. I like how fast my catapults are, though. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, everybody back up. And we're just going to have to very steadily wipe this stuff out. They can't quite hit us. That's good. So we just chill. Catapults. Good job. I heard this gold mine's running low, so let's bring these peons to move up. I feel like we're running into a situation like we did a few missions ago, which is like we're, you know, we mined the map out. Things are looking okay, but we just gotta, we gotta follow through. Didn't I build another one? I, I queued up two, didn't I? Please don't tell me that it's dead. Oh no, it's right here. Slowly but surely. We just can't, we cannot afford to get stuck on the ramp with these towers. So I'm just going to take these out slowly with dragons, and then we should be able to run in there and hopefully get rid of buildings quickly with my, uh, with my grunts. I mean, we are stockpiling money. This is good. And because of sheep, I think it's important that we, um, that we flood them with a lot of units as opposed to going with, like, only raiders, for example. Let's see if we can go get this one. Look out for that thing. He's able to, like, sneak behind the buildings and get us. Alright, this is going to take a while, and that ranger's going to come up and around and go for us as well. I could probably just go, like, straight sappers. Like, just one sapper running in there. I don't know if it could make it. But speaking of that, I am going to just... Build one. Okay, that's enough burrows. Don't destroy that structure, because that's just going to... I wonder if maybe we, if the Zeppelin can give us a little bit more vision. Got it. This one's nestled just like a little bit further away, so I can't quite... Don't do it. I don't love having to do this, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's, uh, get some trees going over here. Yes. We're being attacked. We're Dog. Okay, let's just wait for that sapper and have that, have the sapper do it. Or, perhaps it's time to just bomb in. I don't, I don't know, man. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get our raiders and our grunts. It's time to go. We're going to quick save, and we will still use the dragons to attack the building. OK, 
Okay, get it before it shoots one more time, please. There we go. Good job. Okay, we are in. I wonder if we could just, if we could move some peons up here and build in here. I wonder if any of this is buildable for me. That would be cool. It is. Mm -mm. It is? It is. It's not. Sometimes it is. Oh, we just we have to just destroy their structures and, and we're looking good. Oh, we have more another layer of towers here, but those are cold towers, which concern me less. This haste is pretty good. I like it. This this probably isn't what you need to be repairing. I'm gonna be honest with you. Whoa! I'm getting stuck. I'm getting stuck a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna rally up. What I would love to find is their actual production at this point. Okay, let's move up with the dragons and just start pecking away at the big, the big towers. I'm, yeah, I'm liking the haste, honestly. I mean, we could hotkey these guys and try and use Fireball. That would probably be better. I think this is the right choice. Again, we got to creep. It told us you got to, you know, move slowly and carefully, so that's what I'm going to do. I see a barracks over here. Never mind, I see a Fireball Tower there, so let's use the Catapults to destroy this. I could destroy the structures, which allow me to navigate this more easily. I think I'm going to have to start doing that. It doesn't seem like they're building out of this barracks. Uh, I really don't want to make more dragons, but I will. <laughs> Say the word. Okay, hotkey all the raiders so that we can properly use the double damage. Yeah, we just want to be able to kill these um, these fireball towers faster, I think. So yeah, let's let's get those dragons going. Good job. We can go up to the right next instead of going to the left. I mean, how big can this base really be? You know, cut to 25 plus minutes later and I'm still clearing this base out. I think that's probably what's going to happen here. Let's get some berserkers and... Let's dip in, see what we can find. Okay, lots of towers, but those are the towers that the mages are built from. So actually, if we can get in there and destroy those, then things will be looking a lot better. Let's move up with the catapults, I think. Dragons and dragons. I just want a little bit of vision on those arcane towers because we're going to start blasting away at those. So again, I think that's where the sorcerers are built from. Or just mages? Sor they have sorcerers and arc mages, right? No, wizards. They're wizards. How could I be so stupid? Okay. Four dragons can chip away at these anti-ground towers for sure. Inch forward. Let's go for this. And I think this is where these are being built from. In fact, I know, I mean, I don't know if that, that those buildings specifically are where they're coming from, but it's important that we take them out. That's what I know for sure. We're being okay, good job. Now let's go ahead and auto attack forward. Clear out the next area. I am killing their farms. They, the, the enemy might be restricted by farms, so I think it's worth at least giving it, giving it a go, getting rid of their farms. Oh my gosh, that looks like a lot of stuff. 
I think that was a Goblin Sapper right there that just killed, like, a bunch of my own stuff. Okay, we got to double damage it. Uh, we're only, we've been hasting, so I can't use Fireball. We did make it... Okay, we got through. One way or another, we got through. I see uh, Harvesters, so this is good. We take this out, then we steal their gold mine, I think is the plan. Oh, yeah, looking good. Yeah, honestly, the Warlocks, I, I shouldn't have built as many as I did. Cloud of Poison's okay. It doesn't do as much damage, I feel like, as I would have liked it to versus building. So it's it's okay, but, you know, not super necessary. Let's have these guys go for the barracks and then the castle. Now, are these built from the church? I think the church is just a prerequisite text structure. The dudes with mana shield are surprisingly good when there's nothing... I mean, when they have these farms there to support them, you know? Did I lose a dragon to something? I must have. Okay, move up. Certainly doesn't hurt. And just chip away at, at you know, every little thing we find. All right, there's more towers over there, but that's fine. We'll deal with those. There and there. Honestly, the dragons aren't great at supporting ground units. They're good for picking stuff off, you know? Okay, good job. You saved it. The Dalaran towers are... I mean, the Dalaran defensive capabilities are, are actually pretty darn good. I don't even know what I would want to build up here. My hope is that I don't have to build boats. If I do, I am I'd be you know, I'll be happy to make a cut similar to previous missions. Uh, we definitely want more catapults that'll help us wipe the space out. I again, I think we're done. I think we I think we're through. We're being attacked. What do you want? But it never hurts to have some uh, extra gold income to make sure you can finish it out. I don't remember what the lightning towers are good for, but it's fine. It's dead. Again, I don't think we have to destroy those. We're just going to spam grunts. They're cheap. Let's keep flying around and looking for anti-ground towers. The magma towers or whatever the heck. That's not what they're called, but I like, I like the idea of calling them magma towers. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, there's another barracks down there. Let's go for that. Peons making their way up. More catapults. Okay, we can breathe. I mean, there is a ballista here. I don't like that one bit, but... I think it's going to be okay. Cool, cool, good work. Let's back you up. There's, like, towers all along the outskirts, too. We could have built, um, battleships to sneak around. Not sneak around, but you know what I mean. Um, that would have been okay. Seems like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the outskirts here we're gonna need catapults for. Don't, just don't, just don't. Okay, well. He did. <laughs> ah! Okay. Dragons? What did I say about the cleanup just being crazy? I don't I don't even think I need to be destroying these towers, actually. It said at my leisure. I'm gonna interpret that meaning you don't need to destroy everything, but frankly, I I don't know. Okay, over here, we gotta clear out to the right as well. The shipyards probably do count. Um, we do have a lot of gold, so I feel like it certainly couldn't hurt to just go ahead and start making some naval units. Just to help clean stuff up. That's going to take some time. 
Um, or we can just make more dragons, which actually are countered by boats, so never mind. Please disregard my suggestion. What was over here? Just a farm. I think I just killed a bunch of my own dudes. I'm not sure. Okay, move on down here. Ready to ride. Yes, I'm just trying to grab all my barracks and just make raiders or, you know, whatever it takes. They must have... S oh, yeah. This, this area over here seems frightening. <laughs> okay, we got rid of those dudes. No, we didn't. He's still alive. There we go. He's gone. Okay, go for this now. And this just needs to be catapults because it's closest to the front. This is where the golems are built from, so let's definitely get rid of this, please. Yeah, get him, peon. Show him what's what. This area over here actually seems like a pretty important area to destroy, so let's do that. We only need one catapult to start busting through this. Dude, look at this peon go. He's still he's going crazy. Build a bad mannered tower in their base. Go ahead. Okay, there and there. It's funny how our grunts are good versus buildings. And our raiders are not. It's a you know, it's opposite of what you typically would expect, you know. Okay. Yes. Foundry. Oh, I don't have enough oil. Is there? I don't know. I, if there's even oil on this map, I haven't scouted much for it, but. Okay, let's keep clearing out this. See, I had a bunch of raiders and did they all die? To splash damage, maybe? Must have been. There and there. It's a the, I remember this island is like a big cross, so we've already we've cleaned out a lot of it. Oh gosh, what have I done? <laughs> So the triple, you know, I didn't have the luxury to play with triple attack speed, unfortunately. That would have been pretty cool, but it was not in the cards for me. One more shot. Never mind. It was not, it was not to be. I'm not going to say no just bombarding their navy like this, you know? Good job. Okay, now what? Just lots of grunts. Cancel those. Everybody rally there. Okay, good. So we sank their navy. Let's go for that tower next. Let's go for this tower next. I'm going to guess we do have to kill that shipyard over there, so we'll have to roll some catapults down there. That's a bummer. This one really is, um, it's like clean up the mission, you know? It's, uh, it's a lot of, uh... Nice, we got the building. It's a lot of, of clean up. Um, because, like, we've basically won, but we do have to be very careful. We have to be kind of stingy with our money now, because I could lose if I just threw away all my resources. There's still a lot of gold on this, so I shouldn't have to be that careful. Uh, getting through that is going to be not a problem, but... It is a thing. Let me get another... Not dragons. I don't think we need dragons. I followed the advice of the mission, which was don't build too many dragons. It would be a mistake. 
Good job hitting that wall, buddy. You really, you really showed him. Okay. So he's going to very slowly destroy that shipyard. We're going to fly this dude out. Need something. I, I think we, we, you know, sappers could be pretty good up there. That would require me to build another alchemist up here. Well, not technically. I wouldn't have to, but... Oh, that was my Zeppelin getting hit. I thought my... My catapult very slowly shooting here was, was the problem. Hang on, let me check for another shipyard down here. Look at this tower holding things down. Okay. Move on up. Okay, I don't see another shipyard, so that's less cleanup for us later. Never mind, it's right there. Well, again, we can worry about that in the future. Or we could just send a couple grunts down there. It'll take a while, and hopefully they don't have more boats. We did destroy a lot of their boats. Okay, one volley here. And then get ready to support. Run in there. That was a really good, really good catapult shot right in the middle of all that stuff. Very happy with that. Okay, just make sure to use that double damage. You gotta go. You gotta. You can't just sit here and let that thing take shots at us. Tower spam in the final area, but that's alright. We gotta get through it. You guys get up on top of that. There's a shipyard here building something. Don't tell me it's not ready yet. I know it's ready. Don't speak to me about it. Leave him alone. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go ahead and follow up. Keep it up. <laughs> what do you want? I will. I will steadily destroy their farms one by one as necessary. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no joke. When did I say? It? I mean, it wasn't. You know, however, it wasn't as long as I said it would be, but it's. You know, it's pretty long. Oh my gosh, it's just tower spam. They don't seem like they're building anything anymore. We just have to just get, we just got to get through it. Oh, okay. It's all right. We still have some income coming in. And we just need... I, Maybe we need dragons for those, because those are the anti- those are the anti-ground ones. Okay. Let's go here. It's just- just- just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Let's go to the left. <laughs> right. This tower isn't a scary one, so let's just go for it. Oh, that's just a normal mage tower. Praise be. Oh, well. Stop. I... I think I'm winning. Need something. We're being attacked. I, I, I'm gonna destroy this stuff, I guess. Destroy Dalaran. Okay. That's what we're doing. Here, and then here. And then we're gonna have dragons that are very slowly going to be destroying the remaining towers. I can make more dragons. Again, we need to just be able to plow through those towers quickly. We're being attacked! Okay. Good job. Good work. Nice job. I could um, just run this dude back and forth. 
These have a minimum range, don't they? I mean, they can cover each other, though. But, like, at a certain point, I can't be afraid of these things anymore. We just gotta go. We have enough money to rebuild some stuff, so we just gotta do that. Okay, those are down. Those are down. I'm thinking that the... Let's just send a catapult over to here and here and then here and here and then here and then there uh, you know and just hope that they just they're just gonna do it and we don't have to worry about them okay violet citadel is destroyed we're gonna go over to the left now got more reinforcements Stupid boats, man. This one was less of a test of, like, early macro. That wh What mission was it? Was it Stratholm? I think it was the Stratholm mission. That one felt, again, like a... Like, specifically a... Uh, like a macro test. At the beginning, specifically. We don't have to kill that stuff. We don't... I, j I just wanted to see what there was... You guys come on down and hit the sheepyard. That shipyard's gone. I think I think these shipyards are all that's left. Go ahead and scout around the outskirts, please. I like how I told them to go around. No, I didn't. No, those aren't the ones I told to go around. Those are different. Okay, I'm looking for more production. We're being attacked. I mean, I made a lot of catapults for this reason. Please. <laughs> okay. Dragons, go and just finish that up. It's one shot. But then what's left? Good job. Okay, I think I killed all the naval facilities. There's boats all over the place, but the you know it's it didn't say we had to kill the boats. It just said to destroy Dalaran. Oh, okay. There's that. We're being attacked. There and there. Basically, if it's pink, I will slowly destroy it. But if I don't have to kill all their naval units, I'm not going to do that because that's that's a big ask to still have to do that. Just make dragons, I guess. We got these up here. Unless there's a shipyard right on the edge, I'm not sure why this isn't ending yet. Okay, good. Then we'll get rid of those. Let's see. Destroy the Alliance to Defenders. I think we do... I think we do have to kill all the boats. That's a bummer. I... The thought of making, like, a whole fleet of my own ships is... That's too much. I can't, I can't do it. Oh, they got, like, a lot of stuff over here still, huh? I'm pretty sure that these, uh, these dragons do splash damage. Wow. <laughs> well. We need more gold. Uh, well. Good job. You killed him. He's dead. All right, catapults. You can do it. All that's left is a ranger. All right. As long as it's not melee. Okay. What? What now, though? Like, what are we? What are we doing? <laughs> Besides slowly losing my sanity. There is one melee guy. Faster horses, please. Now, how horses. Wolves. Get him. Okay. Say the word. Yes, chieftain. 
My goodness. Oh my god. And it's... <laughs> it's these flippin' fireball towers. Just go ahead. Again, I'm, I'm like getting really lazy and sloppy now. Again, after this long, I just like, I can't wait for this to be over. Which is a shame, because again, that's how you, that's how then you lose at the 11th hour, because you get impatient. Like, absolutely that's what's happening to me here. I can't deny that. They do have a lot of boats still. And if it's just... If it's just the battleships, then that's fine. Say the word. Because only the destroyers pose a threat to my dragons. Oh, up there. Is that really going to be it? Yes, Chieftain. Could that really be it? Where? I say, where did my other dragons go? Please tell me they're not all dead. Okay. Not a great volley there. Wow, that was further than I expected. Do you think it's really the case where this whole time I just needed a navy to kill the boats? Or maybe it's maybe it's this one tower. Okay, everybody hold hold your breath. Please. <sighs> nope. I just, like, don't have it in me. I'm just going to cut the footage until I get the victory screen. I just can't... I, I'm just done for today. <laughs> okay, I've been flying around trying to find boats for, like, legitimate years. I've killed so many boats. There's no gold left on the map. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, please. Please. I, um... Like... I, I, the original map was like this too. Again, like my my sour <laughs> disposition at this point has nothing to do with the remake of this mission because that's how this mission always was. But like, frankly, the cleanup portion of of real time strategy is one of the worst parts of it. And this mission, over half of my time on it, I think has been has been cleanup. Unfortunately, I'm glad this one is over. Again, this is just a fault of the original game. Um, just like having to kill literally every building in every unit and I realize now the whole like oh don't worry about their dwellings meant the purple stuff but literally if it's pink on the map it must die um, I just again I think there's an opportunity here for like for an enhanced version of the map like you can you can make that not needed or maybe because you've already added a um, a custom portion to the briefing what you can do there is add, you know, more text that specifies, like, you're going to need na a navy. I don't know. Find some way to make the text make sense in the context of the briefing. But basically tell the player, like, hey, by the way, uh, you're still going to need a navy. You have to destroy their navy. Or they have a sizable navy. And they do. They have a ton of boats. So, like, you end up having to build... I mean, I didn't. But if I would have started building boats much, much earlier, then the cleanup would have been a lot easier, I think. It's just, again, this map is basically clean up the mission. So, by extension, I'm not a fan of it. Again, nothing to do with this, with the remake or anything like that. I, I was it, I was very happy to finally be able to play as Blackrock, though I do. Uh, I am a bit jealous that I don't have access to that sweet self-castable triple attack speed that was totally busted when I had to fight against it. <laughs> but, of course, now when I get those units, I get a worse version of them. That's okay. I still had a good time. Um, using the faction. I did not have a good time, unfortunately, for the majority of this map in general, because, again, it's pretty much just like, hey, go really slow with catapults. The enemy has towers that can outrange your catapults, or match their range, I should say. Uh, 
you know, figure it out. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a long one. I'll see everyone next time. Bye.